So having beaten Platinum, the absolute masterpiece that is the first Hello Neighbor, that's a lie by the way, I, with immense excitement, also a lie, said at the end I would do the same with Hello Neighbor 2. And today's that day, I keep my promise, and thankfully, both of these games were free, as the first one is on Extra, and the second one was free with PlayStation Plus for one of the months. So, no wasted money, happy days, that's a win. Anyway, with only 15 trophies, it didn't take very long. Most coming from completing the four days and nights with three missable trophies. All jokes aside though for a second, I actually think this one is far better than, you know, whatever Hello Neighbor 1 was meant to be. So let's get on with it, shall we? This time, we're playing as a journalist instead of a kid. The game is also just way more open with not just the neighbor to deal with, but more on that later. For now, what's better than beginning with being welcomed to Raven Brooks and completing the tutorial. We crash into a barn, pull a lever, grab a key and open a door, finding a gear. I check out this massively improved inventory system, quickly pop the gear in place, grab a rock, break some glass with it, which gets us a crowbar. We open the box, finding another gear, place it, and then the final gear was on the second floor. After placing everything, I pulled the lever and we were out. Damn. Man just ended me with a freaking shovel. So with the intro done, what are we actually doing? Well, we'll need keys from other people that are in the area to open up locked doors in the neighbor's house meaning we could explore it a little bit more. Why people have these keys? I honestly don't know, but I started by exploring an abandoned building with a police officer trying to catch me. Now, I wanna say as well, you have to do some of the most random things I've ever seen to get these keys. For example, to get case closed for finishing day one, I had to get all of these pieces for a picture to open up a secret. This place is like a modern day Spencer mansion on steroids. I found some scissors, climbed on this bookshelf, cut a web, which allowed me to grab a dumbbell. I put it on a button, which opened this, giving me another piece, opened this box with a crowbar, pulled a lever on the bed, revealing a switch. I'll use that in a second. Open this pillow with some scissors, used the lever on the wall to move a bookshelf, took a battery out of this radio looking thing, put it in this so I could control the car to go under the bed, and then, uh oh, he's gonna see me. So getting caught isn't actually that bad. You just spawn outside and lose the item that you currently had in your hand. So I went back inside, got a key from the car, I now only needed one more piece of the picture and it was behind this crime tape. Pretty easy to find. I placed it, I got my second key. With both of the keys, I went downstairs and into the basement, finishing day one. Under that newspaper was the key to exit the basement. Once outside, we got a cutscene showing a paper aeroplane with the words, help me written on it. This was the kid reaching out. So we followed the trail of paper planes which led us straight to the neighbor's new house, where I found a shovel, ending night one and unlocking Shovel Knight. That was a cool little reference to another game. We now begin day two and heading towards a bakery where we would get the first of three missable trophies. Also, moving forward, I won't go over every single puzzle I had to solve during this game because we would be here for a long ass time and some of them are absolutely ridiculous. So back to that trophy. I had to pet a cat, but before I could do that, I had to find a treat. So I admired what I thought was actually a pretty good animation and waited for it to check on something. I grabbed a key from a back pocket. I went outside around the back, jumped through the window and used the key to open the fridge. Why she locks it, I honestly couldn't tell you. Regardless, I took the treat. Also tried to take the rest of the stuff, but it didn't let me. My guy must be on a diet or something. Now though, I could feed the cat and pet it for cat person. So 
So after petting the cat, you might have noticed I grabbed something. I've been searching for these things because I need all of them for the cash register. And after placing the one from the cat, I'd only needed one more. So I opened the freezer and snagged this block of ice with a key inside. I popped it in the fire, grabbed the fire extinguisher from the wall and put it out. This key allowed me to unlock a book and get the final number. After placing it, I entered a code and got a new key to the neighbor's mansion, completing day two and unlocking easy as pie. Now back at the mansion, I had to find and place three houses. Once I did it, it opened a safe revealing a key. I used that key on the door behind me, pressed the light, found the second light and did the same, which moved the huge picture. I now entered the door and found a key next to those golden fricking apples. I hoped I would never have to see them again after the first game, but here we are. Either way, I took the key and opened another door upstairs. After taking the picture in the room, I finished night two, unlocking Family Lost. On day three, I headed to a house with a hunter. This one took a while because you have to climb a bunch of random stuff while running between the floors, which I got lost many, many times, grabbing letters to put on a fridge and the map upstairs that would reveal a code for a safe I could dig up with a shovel. All while the hunter is constantly grabbing me and setting traps. After opening the safe though, I got another key, finishing the day and unlocking treasure hunt. With another key in hand, you guessed it, back to the mansion. My task this night was to get some cogs. So in this new room, I stopped the globe on the right spot, getting a cog, found another way for another button, which got me another cog, which was above the bed. In the garage, I placed this on the car, getting my third and final cog. Now I had to place them all in the clock. And with that, I could go back upstairs and use the time from the clock as the code for the safe, getting a camera and ending night three for ancient curse. Oh, the dreaded golden apple again. I don't want to deal with that golden apple. So now I began the final day, day four, where I could quickly get the second missable trophy. We pet the cat before, so it's only right. Oh, there's the doggo. I've got to pet the doggo as well for a trophy. Probably going to need some food like I did with the cat. Let's feed him some steak. Here we go. Wouldn't this steak be poisonous if I've just used a fire extinguisher on it? I feel like it would be poisonous or something. I don't know. I'm sorry if this kills you, doggo, but I need a trophy. Here you go. So we get a trophy now like we did with the cat. I like his little outfit as well. Are you gonna eat your steak? Probably don't eat it actually. Yeah, don't eat the steak. Oh no, he's eating the steak. We're gonna come back and the dog's just gonna be rolled over in the corner somewhere. Now inside the dog owner's house, we had a bunch more ridiculous puzzles to solve, of course. The goal here was to find all of the medals and place them on this stand. And now we're in his bathroom. Dude has a boat in his bath, really. We took that boat and placed it and used the code on the safe. 8691. All right, so that's the last medal. I got a wheel and remembered where to use it. Oh yeah, one of the other rooms has a... Uh... Oh, what's this? There you go. I need to stop it on a certain... Guess when the light flashes, I've got a... Ah, there we go. With the secret opened, I found the final key. Oh, this was a room I just looked into. And a key. And a trophy. Hidden secrets. Leaving only night four. But first, I went to check on the dog to see if it was still alive. Happy days, the steak didn't kill it. Now, back to the neighbor's house. Next, I got the final missable trophy for reaching the highest point in the game, which was the neighbor's roof. After climbing up, it was synchronization complete. Another sweet game reference. Yeah, nice. Climber. Heading back into the house, I'd collected a few animal heads for a trophy. 
Oh god, he's sleeping. All right, that's good though. If we were quiet while he's sleeping, we'll have to worry about him. And for the final one, I found and placed some books, revealing a bear's head. All right, now we've got the bear head, so we've got the bear and the fish. Ooh, trophy as well. Mad scientist. That left only two story trophies. I thought I had all the animal heads because I got the trophy, but it turns out I was missing the boar head. So I went back to the garage and opened up the car door, pulled the brake and grabbed the head from the boot. After placing the head on the body, leave me alone, neighbor. I'm just trying to fix your um, things. Oh, nice. Peace. Going in the attic. It's like some cult shit. Ooh. I need something for it. Wait, I can hear someone. Someone's in there. I'll get you out. Imprisonment. We got you, kiddo. Oh, no. Now we're imprisoned. Brilliant. After escaping the cell, I headed back downstairs and had my final showdown with a neighbor. And honestly, this section was pretty freaking annoying. I had to get the key and leave the house, which sounds simple enough, but like everything in this game, it's never that simple. So that meant finding a crowbar and removing the boards with it. Then I had to find the key. To get that though, first I had to get a... Right, we need to get behind him for that wrench. Nice, got the wrench. Once I'd got it, I used it on the fireplace to remove the guard and then got myself a fire extinguisher to put out the fire. Come on, get in there. All right, we got the fire extinguisher. Oh, there's the key. This section was uh, pretty tedious. All right, he's going upstairs. All right, got the key, got the key. I'm out of here. Go, I'm running for it. We're gone. Come on, kid. Let's go. Wait, he's going to get crushed. He's calling for the kid? Wait, he, he does care. So, I wonder why he locked the kid up. Whoa, what? Wait, who is that? Is this who was hiding the kid from? Boom, there it is, reunion, which means we should also get the plat for Hello Neighbor 2. There we go, true journalist, happy days. This one was way better, way, way better than the first game. This one actually felt like a finished game. The boss fight at the end there was a little bit tedious, but other than that, way more fun. Thank you all for watching. I've been Mr. Leaning versus Hello Neighbor 2. Happy trophy hunting. And I'll see you all on the next video when I platinum the incredible dead rising.